All right, everybody, now I'm back for part four of my Disney VHS collection 2011 edition. When we last left off, I showed you the 1998 Masterpiece Collection VHS release of Lady and the Tramp, and now we're going to be moving on, and this next tape is the 1995 Masterpiece Collection VHS release of The Lion King, and it's a favorite Disney movie for Junior Mastic, Disney Forever 97, Barry Aldridge, Umbreon Freak 1993, also one of two fa top favorite Disney movies for Outer World Angel 24, and a few others, too. Anyways, as you see, here's the spine in the back. And it says, The Greatest Wonder of All is Saved by the Los Angeles Times. And I'm going to open this tape up now. As you see, here's the tape with the ink label. And the print date was December 30th, 1994. Mr. Giant B. 1993's copy of The Lion King also has that same print date, too. So that's fun. And for previews on there, it has a preview for the theatrical release of Pocahontas. And also... A trailer for the Masterpiece Collection VHS release of Cinderella, which I showed you back in Part 2. Now, I know there's also a 2000 free Platinum Edition VHS, which I don't have, but I know Nick NWB 1989 has that tape, and so does the Chris 8488. And of course, but I, and there's also was a DVD counterpart too, which I also don't have, but I didn't have because that's out of print. But we know this is going to get re-released in the Diamond Edition series in 2011. Later this year, come, it will come out to Blu-ray DVD combo pack around October 2011. And will most likely be coming out to regular 2 this DVD in November. That's what it, they're expecting, but even though they haven't announced, Disney hasn't officially announced which months to come, they'll release it yet. But hey, that's okay. Hey, you'll find out soon. But The Lion King's still a great classic, and you can't blame The Lion King. And this next tape is another Disney classic tape, and this is the original 1990 Black Diamond Classics VHS release of The Little Mermaid, which I got this at Used Book Superstore in Salem, New Hampshire back in February of 2010. Ten, and this has the controversial cover, but anyways, it's a favorite Disney movie for both. For Lindsay 2057, another, also the other two, favorite for Outer World Angel 24, also favorites for Inside the Secret Box, Perone 75, aka YouTube Celebrity Michael Buckley, and of course Mick Starlight, aka Cat. And Ariel's also Cat's favorite Disney princess. He, she's also pretty much my favorite Disney heroine, as well as Miss John's and Family Guy Lover 171, aka Myron. And also. So, Collins as well, which is pretty obvious since his account's called 1991 Ariel Fan. Of course, Little Mermaid's not his all-time favorite Disney movie, but... Because he has Beauty and... He likes Beauty and the Beast a little bit better than this, but Little Mermaid is still good. Anyways, here's the spine. In the back, and it says, You could wish upon a star and not conjure up a more joyous animated movie as stated by Time Magazine. And there are absolutely no previews on this tape whatsoever. But anyways... I'm going to show you the tape, and it has a vertical ink label, as you can see. Print date was September 25th, 1990, just one day after Nick's birthday. Now, I know Mr. Serbo Retro also has a copy of this tape with the same vertical ink li sticker label. Yeah, I'm sorry, it's vertical stickler label. Many copies also have a vertical ink label, and there's some, and there's also, and for sticker label copies, there are more horizontal sticker label copies, which some YouTube users have, but... That's okay, this tape is still good, and you should definitely go out and get it if you don't have it as of yet. But that's not all. We also have the 1998 Masterpiece Collection VHS of The Little Mermaid, and yup, THX certified, and I know Mr. Giantby1993 got this in the mail from Aubrey, Aubrey back. Back when his account, back when Aubrey's account was still open, but that's okay. I also got my copy in the mail from Aubrey too back in May of 2010, and and I know a bunch of other YouTubers have this too, including Grouchman 21 Studios and the Flicker 98 and a bunch of others as well. Yeah, NWB 1989 too. But anyways, as you see, here's the spine. And the back end says, they don't get any better than this to stay by Jeff Craig of 60 Second Preview. And it has a bonus never-before-seen music video for Part of Your World as performed by Jody Benson, the voice of Ariel. And of course, for and she's also in the previews too, in which some of the previews that are on this tape include a preview for Disney Cruise Line and also pretty much a trailer for the theatrical release of Mulan. Now, I haven't put this tape in yet, but I know some of the previews though. But anyways, going to open this up. See, here's the tape with the ink label. 
Print date was January 28th, 1998, just one day after Patrick Butler's birthday. Day. But after all, this tape is very good too. I also have the 2006 Platinum Edition DVD, which I'll reshow when I do the Disney DVDs, but... But hey, still, Little Mermaid is still great classic indeed. Definitely should check that out. So yeah, there you go. And this next tape is the only Neon Mickey tape I have, which is the 1985 VHS release of Mary Poppins. It used to belong to the Chris 8488, but he now gave this to me. Now, a bunch of other YouTubers have this as well. I just can't say who because there's just, just too much to name. Uh, sorry if the phone's ringing, guys. I'm going to keep continue on. On, because I want to con... <sighs> so, let me continue along here. As you see, here's the spine and the back. And it, and it says, The most triumphant musical fantasy ever filmed is saved by the Los Angeles Herald Examiner, winner of five Academy Awards. Awards, but... Awards, and... I'm going to show you the tape now. There's the sticker label, and the print date was August 27th, 1985. I know Imaxination 1980 also has a copy of this, too. Too, which is pretty good. But and So this Neon Mickey tape of Mary Poppins is still fantastic. You should try that, that out. And next up, we also have the 1994 Masterpiece Collection VHS of Mary Poppins, which I got in the mail from Aubrey. Bree, so... Bree, back in May, back in around May, and I know I haven't put this in ta ta this tape in yet, but and I don't know the previews on it, but anyways, as you see, here's the spine. In the back, and it says, Sheer delight to the eye of the year, the senses of stay by Newsweek. A bunch of other YouTubers have this as well, but I just can't say who, because there's just too much to name. But anyways, I'm going to open this tape up. As you see, here's the tape of the ink label. And the print date was June 1st, 1995. So this tape is obviously a reprint. And this was printed days before Goblin Fan 2007's birthday and days before Aubrey's birthday as well. Oh, so... But this tape is of Mary Poppins is still great. It's also the Flickr 98's all-time favorite movie as well. And, uh, and also, we also have the 2000 Gold Classic Collection VHS of Mary Poppins, which I got at Used Book Superstore in Salem. Well, back in June, this was also my very first Disney Gold Classic Collection VHS S tape that I've ever owned. Owned, but anyways, I know a few others have this, but I just can't say who, and I don't know what previews are on it. But anyways, as you see, here's the spine and the back. Same critic review. He was on the 94 tape and as the bonus feature, Hollywood goes to a world premiere featurette. And I'm going to open this tape up now. As you see, here's the tape of the ink label and the print date was September 14th, 2001. This is obviously a reprint too and it was printed three days after the devastating 9-11 terrorist attacks in New York City. But still, this tape of Mary Poppins is, is still good. I also know that there's an 89 tape. There's also a bunch of other VHS releases of Mary Poppins, which I don't have as of yet, but I hope to find some of those soon. I do have the 2004 Mass 40th Anniversary Edition DVD, too, so that's, that's also good to know, too. So I will reshow that someday, soon. And this next tape is one I got, is the 2002 Collector's Edition VHS of Monsters, Inc., which I got from the Chris 8488 back on Christmas Eve. It says, an instant classic. It's stated by Joel Siegel of Good Morning America. As you see, here's the spine. And the back, and it says, funny, entertaining, and visually invented. It's stated by People Magazine. It also has these VHS bonus features, including the animated short film Mike's New Car, For the Birds, Sneak Peek of Finding Nemo, and the hilarious Celtics and Monsters, Inc. company play. Put that thing back where it came from, or so help me. Yep, and for other previews, it has a, also has a preview for the home video release of Lilo and Stitch, and also a trailer for, also a, a preview for the 2002 Platinum Edition VHS and DVD release of Beauty and the Beast. Beast, which I have, which I showed the VHS back in part one, and I will show the, re-show the DVD when I redo the Disney DVDs collect action. I also have this on DVD too, which I'll re-show that too. Anyways, gonna open this up. It has a blue tape, but here's, here's, here's the ink label. 
And the print date was June 25th, 2002, printed days after both Daniel's and Aubrey's birthdays. So, yeah, Monsters, Inc. is still a great tape to own, indeed. And you can't go wrong with that. So, definitely should get this. And this next tape is a another Masterpiece Collection tape. This is the 1999 Masterpiece Collection VHS release of Mulan. This also used to be the film collector dude's favorite Disney movie, but now it's Beauty and the Beast. Of course, this is NWB 1989's M Nick's mother's favorite Disney animated classic. And no, it's not Nick's all-time favorite, but this is good, too. Too, but anyways, as you see, here's a spine and the back, and it says, Mulan is an impressive achievement, ranking with Beauty and the Beast and the Lion King is stated by Roger Ebert. <laughs> yep, definitely. As you see, here's the tape. tape with the, this is the tape with the ink label. Print date was October 5th, no, no, January 5th, 1999. Nine. So, yeah, this, so yeah, turning 12 years old. It turned 12 three days ago, but that's okay. Okay, and I know, I, for one preview, it probably does have a preview for the theatrical release of Tarzan, but I don't know what else is, else is on there. i will have to put this in soon, and I likely will, since Chinese New Year will most likely be around the corner, even though I don't celebrate the holiday. But, hey, Mulan is still great. I also know there's a 2000 Gold Classic Collection VHS and a 2004 Special Edition VHS, which I don't have any, any of those yet, but I hope to get those soon. I do have this, this the Special Edition DVD counterpart, though, which, as I said, will re-show when I do the Disney DVDs. And this next one's another Black Diamond Classics tape, and... This is the 1992, the original 1992 Black Diamond Classics VHS release of 101 Dalmatians. And, as you know, this tape used to be Mr. Biggest Disney fan's all-time favorite Disney movie, but now he likes Beauty and the Beast better. So he's in the same boat as I am, and as I told you before. But Dalmatians is still a great classic. It's, it's his second favorite now, but I know I still like this too. Too, and... Anyways, I'm going to show you the spine... And the back, and it says, Great storytelling on a scale of 1 to 10. This film gets 101 to stay like Good Morning America. Okay, and for previews on there, it has a preview for the theatrical release of Aladdin. And after the movie's over, it has previews for the VHS releases of both The Great Mouse Detective and Beauty and the Beast as well. Anyways, I'm going to open this up. As you see, here's the tape with the ink label. Print date is January 26, 1992. So, yeah, there, that's pretty good. Good, I know this tape... <coughs> excuse me. Excuse me, and this tape is, uh, is, a, is pretty good to, good to own indeed. I also know there's a 1999 Masterpiece Collection VHS release, which I don't have as of yet, but I know the Flickr98 has it, and so does Mr. Biggest Disney Fan, and a few other YouTubers as well. And I know BYW613 has a DVD counterpart. He has this tape as well. And, of course, he also has a demo tape release of the film, too. Too. And NWB1989 also has this tape. And he, too, also has the demo tape, too. I don't have the demo tape as of yet. But this, is, but this tape is still good. And my mom loves this movie, too, since Cruella de Vil is my mother's all-time favorite Disney villain. And she'll do anything to go after those puppies. But still, and of course, there was also a live-action remake, which was released on VHS as well. I don't have that live-action version yet, but hope to find it soon. But between the live-action version and the animated version, I prefer this animated version better. But still, 101 Dalmatians, still a great classic. And you should definitely own, the, own this on video. It's worth a shot. Okay, we're going to stop there for part 4 of my Disney VHS Collection 2011 edition. Part 5 will be coming up right after this, so stick around for that, why don't you?